Uh, Shalom Hebrews. This is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. Message from the Israelite Brotherhood. All right, Hebrews. You know, man, you got a whole lot of Israelites be hollering, Zion, Zion. I'm a Zionist, or, or you know what I'm saying, or, or, or you know, mentioning Zion, men in a sense, man, you know, a lot of Israelites don't know what's going on, you know, and I'm explaining it to you, this is Israel being Israel for the Israelite Brotherhood, all right, Zion is, is an old Amorite Jebusite covenant, man, before they turn wicked. You know, a lot of Israelites, you know, especially in the New Testament, man, they really believe in it. And, and, you know, they don't know what's going on. And, you know, they don't understand what's really going on with the Israelite history. And, you know, they, you know, on the Malchizedek and so forth and think that it's an order after him that's supposed to be continuous. And they don't know that it's slick being continuously promoted you know what I'm saying the, uh, uh, if you promote Zion you know Zion was Jerusalem a, a, a castle that the Jebusites had you know the Jebusites were basically Amorites you know the Amorites man uh, man they had a covenant man you know what I'm saying the uh Jerusalem, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, that that the Creator uh, say the uh, the throwed out Tazaret, uh, uh, Tazaret uh, uh, child that the uh, Amorite and the Hittite had. You know what I'm saying? And the prophet Ezekiel explained that. You know he was being you know caught up you know in a system when he was being taken to a uh, babylon but they didn't know that he was a a pre-son oh I man he well educated in the uh science of tribes and, and who was wicked and who wasn't wicked you know what i'm saying because you know we had a line of righteousness that went all the way back to seth when our ancestors you know start calling on the creator and, and you know he revealed his name and how almighty Yah, you know was keeping up with his uncontaminated creation you know because Cain uh that had fled from the wrath of the creator after killing his brother and the creator putting Tazarat on him that he gonna flee off into uh the caves, the underground caves in Turkey, and, and mixed with the felon angelic beings, and you know, man, that would produce uh, uh, the Nephilim and you know, the, the giants, you know, the, the uh, men, the peoples that had science, warfare, and all that stuff, you know, the giants, the, uh, the, the Nephilim in the Bible, and then they, you know, had descendants, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah gonna be their descendants you know basically man the places in the bible and in the tanakh is mostly especially when it's man, man the big name and not like a spring or water or, or, or a little site where they praying man it's gonna be named after the uh after some people in sodom and gomorrah you know what i'm saying and it's like all the peoples that's named in the tanakh in in, in in Genesis, uh, uh, you know, man, you get Sir, man, you get the, uh, man, man, a whole bunch of uh, tribes, you know, Sir, the, the, even the Hittites, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, uh, and the ones the, uh, that Edom mixed with, you know, Edom mixed with them, and uh, me and them folks will be Cain descendants. Then will be Cain descendants, and, and you know they're not listed. You know what I'm saying in the book of the living. You know that you know Prophet Moses got the uh, you know the history from the creator. You know what I'm saying. That's like Lotan, Heman, and, and you know 
those individuals that that eat them mixed with that 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 come from Mount Sir, you know, dope. Them gonna be some uh Cain descendants, and, and you know Cain descendants, you know men, they was around. So you know we had to keep up with the righteous people and, and those that worship Almighty Yah, and, and that's what this book of remembrance is about. You know the Tanakh, and uh, how about that uh, Malchizedek was an Amorite priest. And, you know, he go back to, you know, Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, you know, got his blessings, you know, when when, when the Amorite and the Hittite uh, uh, child was thrown out. You know what I'm saying? You know, they had Tezzeret. You know, like I say, the Hittites, I mean, they ain't going to uh, have no uh, pigmentation. And those going to be Cain descendants, you know, and they ain't going to have no uh guidance and they gonna be wild and stuff and uh how about that you know that those people's the hittites uh the havites the amorites and all those people we were supposed to destroy and then you know replace their wickedness you know because they had you know righteousness is at first and now cheesy leak was the example of that as well as as other individuals that was prophets and priests that the creator spoke to that wasn't israelites like you know i mean i think Balake, you know what i'm saying and, and balaam you know asking you know to uh curse us and so forth and how man that they had to talk to the creator about it and how he said no he ain't gonna do it and how he gonna bless the children of Israel well it was peoples on the earth that worship almighty Yah man before we did you know what I'm saying now now Malchizedek was an Amorite priest and he was priest over Zion you know what I'm saying uh, uh, but man, but man, I'm gonna show y'all what King David took took the castle and King David taking the castle and then enforcing the the law that the creator uh, uh, gave us with destroying them you know what I'm saying is how King David got a hold of Zion and then placed almighty Yah name back there you see what I'm saying uh, uh, put his name back you know where it was because his name was in Jerusalem because you know like I said he had gave the uh the uh the man the Canaanites man the a uh, covenant let me show that all right let's go to Ezekiel 16 and then I'm gonna try to reconstruct the uh Zionists you know what I'm saying and how the Zionists is an old covenant they go to the Jebusites man before they turn wicked you know Jebus is Jerusalem and the creator, you know what I'm saying, gave them a, 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 a covenant when they was thrown out. You know what I'm saying? And, and then they turned wicked when they mixed with the, uh, uh, when Cain kids, uh, the Canaanites mixed with the uh, Hittites, Cain kids. And then, you know, they, they descendants from the fallen angelic beings and so forth. And then that's why all the you know destruction come from and then the decree probably to destroy the old covenant that the canites had and then how they had turned real wicked real wicked and then how they had to be destroyed and then i'm gonna show how you know eventually you know us coming out of egypt and then how king david you know what i'm saying put the ark in zion you know which was a amorite uh uh holding ground where they worship that you know and where the creator name was at with with them the, the amorites but being that they turned wicked and evil and started doing all kind of destruction it's like you know i want to trace you know it will I, I might do it in a few minutes while i'm doing this how you could trace sin from the felon angelic beings is going to be where all the wickedness come from that's going to be where all the wickedness come from. 
the uh, felon angelic beings. All right, now if the felon angelic beings, the Nephilims, didn't get destroyed, and then the uh, Amorites and so forth mix with them, then you know that's an explanation of why wickedness reigned here on earth, and and then how did we Israelites man supposed to have destroyed the 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 symbol of their wickedness was Zion. You know what I'm saying? Zion was the headquarters. You know what I'm saying? Jerusalem was the headquarters for all the uh, wicked Amorite uh, uh, kings and so forth. And those evil, wicked Amorite kings uh, uh, was disrespecting Almighty Yah name that was placed there, you know what I'm saying, long ago, man, before they got infused with the uh, with with Cain descendants and all the other wicked folks, you know, in Sodom and Gomorrah and stuff, you know, and that'll be that story that Prophet Abraham uh, uh was, you know what I'm saying, when when he was in um in the Amorite territories when the creator told him to uh go to uh go to uh Canaan and that he was going to get the land and then how did you know those Amorites was there and then they had turned wicked and then had got robbed you know almighty y'all caused confusion and mayhem in their land and disorganized them and then prophet Abraham was able to get in there and then not be bothered and stuff because how he you know semi helped them uh, uh the, them Amorites then, especially he was really helping uh, uh, extending his hand, man, to Mal Cheesy and, and whatever he was uh, associated with. And then that'll be that, uh, uh, that'll be the, this right here. Let me read this. All right. And it come to pass in the days of after a king of Shinar. Ariach king of Elijah, Shamalizer king of Elam, and Tittle king of the nations, that these made war with Beer king of Sodom, and, and were Beer Beer king of Gomorrah, Shanab king of Adama, and Shimber king of Zeboim, and King Bela, which is in Zor. And all these was joined together in the vale of Sidom, which is in the South Sea. Twelve years they served challenge and then they gonna be wicked and and that's what that gay stuff and all that old wickedness. You know, them folks was being wicked and then they get robbed. Man, they get robbed by them nations from the east. You know, them nations from the east came and robbed them and stuff. You know, them nations uh uh men that come, you know what I'm saying, from these parts, you know, but what Elam and all them was, and then they came and robbed them folks, you know what I'm saying, down up in here. And, and then, you know, made slaves out of them. And, and then, you know, Prophet Abraham come along, you know, they had snatched some of their stuff and was taken off with it. And then Prophet Abraham had pulled up and then, you know, some of his stuff got caught up in it. You know what I'm saying? And, and then his nephew Lot get caught up. And, and, and you know, get snatched up and kidnapped. You know, see back then, man, if you was wicked, if you was wicked, you ain't had no power. And a stronger power, you know what I'm saying, could come, man, come kidnap everybody and take everybody off and make slaves out of you. And, and, and that's what they did. And Lot got caught up. And then you know, Prophet Abraham, you know, was, you know, had to go save his folks. And, and then he went and saved his folks. But he was saving the uh, men, the Amorites, too. And Mal Dick was king of Salem. And we're going to look up Salem, and Salem is Jerusalem. You see what I'm saying? And that's where Almighty Yah name was placed at first. And I'm going to show this in the book of Ezekiel 16. But look, let me see. And there came one that had escaped and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelled in the plain of Mirmi, 
the Amorite brother of Ashko and the brother of, of Anar, and these were confitted with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto them. And he divided himself against them. And him and his servants by night smote them and pursued them. Maybe not to have, see, man, he caught up with the robbers. Maybe and got his folks free. But then that's kind of justifying him staying in the land, too, you see, because he done helped them old Amorites. And, and then it's going to be helping Mal Cheesy Dick, who was probably overwhelmed by all these old wicked folks that was in Sodom and Gomorrah. Because remember, an angel would come back later on and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. We would sit down and kick it with Prophet Abraham, you know what I'm saying, the creator. And some angels pull up and, and then we'll kick it with Prophet Abraham and eat. And then, man, he'll go destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And Prophet Abraham asked him, hey, man, if it's five people, uh, if, if it's 50 people, would you destroy it? And, and, and the creator said, no, I wouldn't destroy them, man, if it was 45. And then the number got all the way down to five. And he said, man, if you found five people in Sodom and Gomorrah, you know what I'm saying, righteous, would you destroy them? And the creator said he wouldn't. So, and then the angels went on and destroyed it. So it wasn't nobody righteous there. And they was wicked. And they was Amorites. As could be shown that they were Amorites by by Abner and, and, and them folks getting caught up. You know, Abner and, and, and Eshkol. You know what I'm saying? And then as you read, you know what I'm saying? After Prophet Abraham, our father, and then caught up with the robbers and then freed them. Then the old wicked uh, uh, Canaanite, uh, uh, the, the old wicked people of Sodom and Gomorrah, they wicked kings gonna say, hey, give us the uh, give us the people because they want to free the people so they can do wicked and don't come up under Prophet Abraham's uh, worship of Almighty Yah and say, you can take the goods. And Prophet Abraham say, no, nah, man, they ain't taking none of this stuff from y'all you know and, and i only just want what's mine look and there went out the king of sodom and the king of mar uh, gomorrah the king of adam and the king of zebodim and the king of bella and the king of zor and, and they joined battle with them and started so they get whooped and they took all the goods of sodom and gomorrah and all their villas and went their way and they took lot abram's brother's son who dwelled in sodom and his goods and departed and that, you know what I'm saying, so they done told him, so Prophet Abraham, you know what I'm saying, get all this stuff, man, and bring it back. Look, and, all right. And, and, and the king of Sodom went out to meet him after he returned from the slaughter of Chesmanah and the kings that were with him at the valley of Sheb. See, see, they was out robbing, robbing them old gay folks. You know, the gay folks got protection up under the Amorite system now. You know, but back then... They was in camps, and they ain't had no protection. Man, if they king couldn't hold it down, it was over with. And that's like now, all the nations know that America is like the capital of that type of wickedness. And now it's going to be like in the past. All right, look. And Mount Jesus, the king of Salem, look. Mount Jesus, the king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High Yah. All right, see, he was the priest of the Most High Yah, but but he was from Salem, Jerusalem, and, and, and he blessed him and blessed and said, "Blessed be Abraham, the Most High Yah, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High Yah, which had delivered the enemies into their hand." And he gave him tits of all. I mean, he gave Prophet Abraham tits and gave him everything. You see what I'm saying? All right. And Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand, men unto the Elohim, the most high Yah, the possessor of heaven and earth. Man, I know that was putting fear in those gay kings. You know what I'm saying? Them gay kings and stuff. Man, when he was saying that, put fear in them. That I would not take from a thread even to a shoe latch, and that I would not take anything that is then, least thou shouldest say, I have made Abraham rich. Except only that which the young men have eaten in the portion. The men went with me, Abner, Charlotte, and Mary. Let them take their portion. 
you know, but Prophet Abraham didn't want none of that stuff. But we see Salam, uh, 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 uh Malchizedek was king over, is king over, uh, uh, uh Salam. So then we can look and see uh, what Salam is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to look and see. So all these brothers be trying to say, I'm a Zionist, I'm a Zionist. You really don't know what's going on. And how Zion was a old Amorite capital. Now, the Amorites are in control of our heritage now. As I explain in countless videos, how we abandon our heritage to the Amorites, the Sebhardis, and to those that, you know, the people that we didn't drive out the land when we come out of Egypt were Amorites that got into our heritage early. I got plenty of videos explaining how the Amorites got into our heritage early and so forth. All right? And then let's look here. All right, so let's look at Zion and see what... It is Zion Jerusalem. Alright. The Jebusite Salam. Alright. That the that the same that the same that the name Salam refers to Jerusalem is evidenced by Psalms uh six two. Let, let's see what that say. I think I had that even marked, but let's look. Psalm six two. So you know Jerusalem and Salam, look, I almost turned right to it. Matter of fact, I turned right to the page. Ain't that something? Just open up the Tanakh and turn right to it. Look. Alright. And Salam also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. See, that's because King David took the castle and then when, when, whenever it speak of Zion in a positive Manor is going to be doing King David's reign when he took the ark and re-established Almighty Yah name in Jerusalem. See what I'm saying? That's what King David did. He re-established Almighty Yah's name in presence by bringing the covenant there and defeating the, the Amorites. And, and they... Uh, whole religious wicked structure you see what i'm saying was being replaced by us and king david ushered that in see a lot of israelites just don't understand and they think that king david was just whooping on folks and just coming in whooping on them it was a reason why he whooped on them amorites and took jerusalem the 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 city of David, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and Zion is because them Amorites had a castle there. And that's where they worshiped that. And that's why Almighty Yah name was probably there in Jerusalem first, in Zion. You see, his name was there in Zion, men up under that Amorite covenant that that they had at first. Man, let me show that. I don't want to be jumping around Israelites, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay Man on uh, uh I mean on point with this. I didn't write man a whole lot of this down. I'm just freestyling from all my understanding, man of the history and so forth. Yeah, let me show you in Ezekiel 16, and then we can see how Almighty Yah gave the Amorites a covenant, you know what I'm saying, that that that, that would create a Zion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 a paradise and, and, and man everything swell where almighty y'all presence was and where his name was man it's gonna be a, a glorious there goodness and, and, and everything righteousness if the people don't contaminate it with the wickedness of the felon angelic beings and then that's what happened with the Amorites and so forth when you know them Folks got in there on them and stuff, and they start mixing with everybody. But look, this is how Jerusalem come about. You know what I'm saying? Look. Again, the word of the Elohim came unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations. You see, I told you it was turning real wicked. They was, these going to be the same Amorites 
that turned us out, that we didn't destroy the Gammonite, the Gabonites and them folks that had got into the got into our heritage because the ark would stay stay there, man, about four hundred some years after King David got it there in Zion where Almighty Yah name was originally. You see? Look, son of man calls Jerusalem to know her abominations and say, This said the Elohim, Yah, unto Jerusalem, thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite and thy mother a Hittite. See, a Hittite, man, that's going to be a, a, the a Cain strain getting in right there. The Nephilim strain getting in right there. And as for thy nativity in the day that thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to supply thee. Thou was not salted in, at all, nor swallowed at all. None I pitied thee to do any of this unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou was cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou was born. You know, in, in the day that they was born, me and they was cast out. And, and when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, <clears throat> I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood live. Yeah, I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood live, I caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxen great, and thou art Come to excellent ornament, thy breasts are fashioned, and then hair is grown, whereas thou was naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, that that time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thee nakedness. Yeah, I swam to thee and entered into a covenant with thee, said the Elohim, Yah, and thou becomest mine. See, that's how Mal Cheesy did. That's how Mal Cheesy did. And them individuals in the Tanakh that's not descended from Seth or, or, or of the prophet Noah lineage uh, 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 communicated with Almighty Yah is because he communicated and had a covenant with those Amorites. You know what I'm saying? Many had a covenant with those Amorites and Mal Chizidik was like the last one. He was the last good one. You know what I'm saying? He was the last good one before it was lights out. You see, he passed the baton over, man, the prophet Abraham. It was over with, man, for that Canaanite, uh, uh, Amorite covenant that Almighty Yah gave them. The, the felon angelic beings had got into him. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the Tazeret come from. That's where the Tazeret come from. You know, that's where the Tazeret come from. You know, they're trying to get everybody to mix it and get a little Tazeret in them now. You know, quiet as it kept. You know, it don't never stop. Look. All right. Now, now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, the time was a time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy neck. And see, I swore to thee and entered into a covenant with thee, said the Elohim Yah, and thou becomest mine. Then I washed thee with water. Yeah, I thoroughly washed thee. I mean, away thy blood from thee and anointed thee with all. I clothed thee also with broadened work and with, with shard and with badger skin. I greeted thee about with fine linen I, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee with also with ornaments. I put bracelets upon thee. And, and man, I'm talking about, I mean, they had it going on. They had a covenant and they was prospering the same way when we come out of uh, uh, Egypt, out of the furnace, going into the land of milk and honey is the same description as what the Canaanites uh, uh, had. They had milk and honey, and then they turned wicked. But but, but because the fallen angelic beings, men gonna get up in them. And this could be seen that, that the Canaanites messed it with the fallen angelic beings. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of videos explaining this. But look, man, they, man, they turned wicked. Look, all right. And in all the abominations in thy hoarding, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, when thou was naked and bare, and was polluted in thy blood. And it come to pass 
after all thy wickedness. Woe, woe, woe unto thee, saith the Elohim, that thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place, and hast made thee in high place in every street, where, where Zion was the spot, the only spot, meaning at first, you know what I'm saying? And then how did they turn wicked? You know, the men, the Canaanite kings and the peoples turn wicked because the fallen angelly beings uh, uh, then got up in them Amorites and then spread it throughout the rest of their folks. And then they all was turning wicked. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, man, look, man, if you go to uh, Joshua, man, that'd be Joshua. Let me see. Joshua. Uh, 10, 10, 5. Let's try to establish that the uh, that the Amorites controlled Jerusalem, and, and and that it was like one and the same. All right, let's see. Now all of a sudden, I get all right. Here we go to to uh, Joshua 10. Let's see what this say. Joshua 10. And it come to pass when Adonai Zedek, that, that's Lord Zedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken I and had utterly destroyed it, and he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to I and her king, and had the, and how the inhibitors of Gabon had made peace with Israel and were among them. That's them Amorites. Them Amorites was among us. You know what I'm saying? And them the ones we didn't destroy that would eventually get our heritage. That would make them holler for Zion right now today to try to keep the Zion struggle going. That they try to keep the Zion struggle going because they was from Zion already and stuff. And I can easily show how the Gabonites were uh uh were Amorites. Let me do that real quick. If you go to uh man, it'll be Samuel 21. I always think I remember that. Let's see. Samuel 21. This first Samuel 21. Good point. Then there was a famine in the land in the days of David. Three years after, let me see, in David. Three years after year after year and David acquired of the Elohim and the Elohim answered and said it's for Saul and, 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 and for his house and how he destroyed the Gabonites but look alright and the king called the Gabonites and said unto them now look now the Gabonites were not of the children of Israel but of the remain of the Amorites and, and the children of Israel had sworn to them see how the Gabonites and Amorites, where well, well, they was in our heritage, we didn't destroy them. But look at these Amorites here that we were supposed to destroy in these hill Zion. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they was real wicked. The Amorites that we didn't destroy, they got into our heritage. The Gabonites who become the Nethinims and who mix with the Sepharvims and, and, and men produce the Hasmoneans and everything else. My name explain how did them folks are, uh, are the same folks as the uh, Amorites. Man, the Sephardis is the same as the Gabonites. And how did we didn't get rid of them and they tricked us and laid dormant in our heritage. And how did they know how to play righteousness? And then, you know, when, when it ain't favorable to them, and we worshiping Yah and we the majority, how they lay in the cut. And then when we fall off by their wickedness playing out the back door, then, you know what I'm saying, man, they spring it out on us. All right, but look, these are the kings that, uh, therefore the five kings of the Amorites, look, therefore the five kings of the Amorites, this is Joshua, Ten of five. Therefore, the five king of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, 
And then that's the Jabu site. That's where Malchizedek was from before they turned wicked. Now Malchizedek going to be a righteous king, but then how did they turn wicked as I can show the giants mixed in with the uh, Amorites and so forth. I got videos about that. All right, but look. Therefore, the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jermuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and they camped men before Gibbon and made war against them. All right? That's because we was kicking it there, and when we had let them folks slide. But you see how those are Amorites. Those are Amorites. Now, let me show you Israelites. How King David took Zion, you know what I'm saying, uh, of men the castle, where, where the word Zion come from, you know, it's an old Amorite covenant, you know, as I just showed how the Amorites had a covenant. I never finished reading Ezekiel 16, but you see how Jerusalem beginning, you know what I'm saying, start, you know, by, by Amorite and the Hittite, all right, uh, uh, man, if we go to, uh, Man, if we go to, uh, man, I think, let's see, uh, uh, man, First Chronicles. Let's go to First Chronicles. First Chronicles. First Chronicles. Man, I got it. Uh, uh, 11 fold. Let's see what First Chronicles 11 fold say. All right. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David. Men unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. That's what the, all the Israelite camps need to come together under the Israelite brotherhood. Men and say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what they need to say. That's what they need to say. Look, look, you see what that is. You know what I'm saying? The light even come on it. Look, all right. Then all Israel gathered themselves. Men to David, men, men unto Hebron, and behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh, and moreover in time past, even when Saul was king, thou was, thou was he that led us out and brought us in Israel. And the Elohim thy Yah said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore come all the elders of Israel to Hebron, and made David a covenant with them. You know what I'm saying? And David, and David made a covenant with them in in Hebron, man, before the Elohim, and they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Elohim by Samuel, the dead prophet. All right, and David and all Israel went to Jerusalem. Look, went to Jerusalem, and now we, we know that Jerusalem had abomination, and that's gonna be Zion where the Amorites at. You see what I'm saying? Where the old covenant, because David going to come like state that when, when he plant the ark there, man, it's like planting a flag there and say, hey, man, this is took over. You know what I'm saying? That we got this now. You see what I'm saying? Look, and David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus. Look, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. Now, we already know that them uh, Amorites, look. And, and the inhabitants of Jabu said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion. Look, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. You see, that's his spot. Now, he took it. He took over the religious institution, the main religious institution for the land of Canaan where all those five kings and all them other kings that was Amorites came to worship is going to be this spot. And Almighty Yah name don't have been there at first as Melchizedek was a high priest of Almighty Yah. You see what I'm saying? Almighty Yah. But then they turned wicked. As I can show the Canaanites, man, mixing with them folks. Let's go back and see Melchizedek being the uh, man, the high priest for the Creator. You know what I'm saying? I think I done read that, but some of y'all need to hear it again. Some of you need to hear it again and need to see it in order for you to believe. Look. 
in Malchizedek. This, this is Genesis 14. And, and Malchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High Yah. See, he was the priest of the Most High Yah. King of Salem, I already showed you that that Salem is Jerusalem. So, you know, he he was in Zion. See what I'm saying? That's where Almighty Yah name was at first when he saved them Amorites and made a covenant with them. But then they turned wicked and we were supposed to drive them out the land. But then we got in the land and turned wicked and we was driven out the land and they still there being wicked. Look, and Malchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine and he was the priest of the Most High Yah. A priest at Zion. I'm here to tell you, Jerusalem. Look, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of the Most High Yah, possessor of heaven and earth. You see what I'm saying? Because he knew it was over with. He knew it was over with. And it became over with as when King David took Zion over. King David took Zion over. They old headquarters. You know what I'm saying? Where Almighty Yah name once was and then reestablished it with righteousness up under us, supposedly. And then you see how that went. The Canites, uh, the, the, the Egyptians tricked us, the Canites, everybody got us up out of there. And then our time there was gone. And look, when King David put the ark there, and, and, and men, let's see how long that ark was there. I think I dug that history up too. Let's see how long that ark was there. Let's see how long was that ark there in Jerusalem. Look, went right to it. You that a fumble around. Look, the ark arrived in Jerusalem. Zion, the old city of David. You know, it's home for the next for the next 456 years until Solomon Temple was destroyed in 586 BC. Well, y'all already know that story in, in the book of Jeremiah and in how we was ran up off the land. David made Zion his political capital and his spiritual epic center of Israel by bringing the ark and setting up a new tabernacle. You, you remember that I showed y'all how the uh, uh, Jerusalem turned wicked and, and the Amorites turned wicked and that's why we were supposed to go destroy them. The, the, do you Israelites know that, that the Amorites are the same people that's mixed with the fallen angelic beings who sponsored the wickedness and, and then how all the wickedness is controlled by them in like a science. Men, the wickedness is controlled like a science by them. And how about that the felon angelic beings, children are getting up into uh, heavens trying to seed the earth, uh, to seed the planets, seed the planets, the other planets that, that like earths with wickedness. And they're trying to get up in the uh, heavens. And how do we Israelites going to have to come into our heritage? We're going to have to come into our heritage, man, in order to stop this. And, and, and that's by understanding this truth and what happened in our past. You see, the Canite, the, 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 the Amorite priests from Babylon been running a good deception game for a long time. But look, the Ark arrived in Jerusalem. That, that Salem is home, you you remember uh, uh, Malchizedek was 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 the high priest, and that's why Almighty Yah had his name because he saved. I mean, he saved him one time. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's home for the next four four hundred and fifty six four hundred and fifty six years, man, until Solomon's temple was destroyed. You know, but that's Zion and how King David made it. Zion, look. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jabu, where the Jabu sites were, the inhabitants of the land, and, and, and the inhabitants of Jabu said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smited the Jabu site first shall be chief and captain. See what I'm saying, man? We went and got it up with them. And David dwelt in the city, therefore, and they called it the city of David. You know, but, but, but that's Zion because David 
put the, 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 the ark there. David had the ark took there where the Canaanites originally had Almighty Yah name and then polluted it. As I show Malchizedek being the priest of the Most High and he was from uh, 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 Jerusalem. You see what I'm saying? All right, man, and look, let's, uh, me, uh, Almighty Yah, all right, man, let's see about King David taking the ark, the, the ark there and placing it there. All right, we will go to, uh, 2 Samuel's, 2 Samuel 6. All right, uh, uh man, it's kind of like a little long story and stuff, you know, but, but it's kind of good. I'm going to get into it. All right. The, the, this is 2 Samuel 6. Again, David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. And David arose and went. And all the people that were with him from the belly of Judah to bring up thence the ark of Yah, whose name is called by the name of the Elohim, the, the, the Elohim of hosts that dwelled between the cherubim. See, and then later on, you would get... But because the ark stayed there for 456 years in Zion, in Jerusalem, you'll have prophets like Isaiah saying that Almighty Yah dwell on Zion. And you'll have prophets later on saying that they dwell on, that Almighty Yah dwell on Zion because he was, his presence was still there. Men until we was driven into Africa during the Babylonian Wars and, and then... Man, it was over with men for uh, uh, Zion uh, uh, that David had took over and reestablished Almighty Yah name. You know, it was over with for that. Look, and David arose and went and all the people that were with him to a Bethlehem. All right, spend me. So they came up and they set the ark of Yah up on a new cart and brought it out of the house of uh, uh, Abinadab. That was in Gabar, and Uzi and all the sons of Abinadad drove the new car. And they brought it out of the house of Abinadad, which was at Gabar, accompanying the ark of Yah. And all it went before the ark. And David and all the house of Israel played before the Elohim. And all the manner of instruments made of fir, wood, even of harps and pastry, and on timbers, just making that music. Making that music. You see, we don't make that music for Almighty Yah. Now we, we make wicked music for the. Amorites, the uh, felon angelic beings, children. And, 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 and when they come to Natron's threshing floor, Yuza put forth his hand to the ark of Yah and took hold on it. F for the ark shook it, and the anger of the Elohim was kindled against Yuza, and, and, and Yah smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of Yah. And and David was displeased because the Elohim had made a breach men upon using, and he called the name of the place Perez Yuzi to this day. And David was afraid of the Elohim that day and said, How shall the ark of the Elohim come to me? So David would not remove the ark of the Elohim unto him into the city of David, but carried it into the house of Oak. Obadium, the, the, the Giddy, in the ark of the Elohim, men, men continued in the house of Obed, the Giddy, three months. And, and the Elohim blessed him out of this world and, and all his household. And, and it was told King David, saying, The Elohim had blessed the, the house of Obadium and all that pertaining to the men and men to him because of the ark of Yah. So David went and brought up the ark of Yah. From the house of Obadim into the city of David with gladness. So that's going to be Zion. He brung it. You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't defeated the Jebusites. And now he got the ark there. That's the, the, the accomplishment. Almighty Yah's name is re-established. And, and the covenant supposed to be going on from then forth. As King David setting the foundation down. You know what I'm saying? The wickedness couldn't take hold while King David was around and then how we were supposed to follow his standard. But it didn't happen. Look, and, and it was so that when they that borrowed the ark of the Elohim had gone six paces, he sacrificed ox and fatlings. And David danced before the Elohim with all his might. And David was griddled with a linen ephah. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark 
of the Elohim with shouting and with sound of trumpet. And as the ark of the Elohim came into the city of David, Michal, Michael's, uh, Saul's daughter, looked through a window. See, look, man, we had windows, man. There ain't no way in the world we could have been no natives in, in, in South America without no windows and stuff. Look. Looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing, man, before the Elohim. And she despised him in her heart. And they brought in the ark of the Elohim and set it in his place in the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Elohim. And as soon as David had made an end of, of offering burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Elohim of hosts. And he dwelt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel. King David was kicking it with everybody, shaking everybody's hand, giving everybody hugs and just being normal. You know, he the king, you know what I'm saying? He the lead man, he the leader, but he kicking it with the people like he's supposed to. He mixing in with the people, you know? Look. And he dwelt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel, as well as to the women, as men, to everyone, a cake of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. So all the people gathered everyone to his house so all the people departed everyone to his house look yeah man so, so king david fed everybody he was probably putting the food on their plates you know everybody had to come by king david line and get something to eat probably i'm telling you how he do it you know what i'm saying i mean i know how the king do it all right so we see king david took zion over and put the ark there and that's gonna be the total men accomplishment in the wipeout of the uh of the uh canite jebusites you know what i'm saying hold you know what i'm saying over the promised land and, and with they wickedness and so forth you know but israelites be hollering you know uh, uh zion zion and don't really understand where zion come from and how zion was a old amorite uh, uh amorite stronghold that they worshiped almighty yah when they worship Almighty Yah, man, before they got mixed up with them Nephilim and stuff, the giants got in them. See, look, look, turn right to it. Look, oh, then that's the Gentiles. Let me see where if I can put up some with the giants. The Amorites are gonna be the Gentiles too. Then. All right, let's see if we can pull some up with the giants up in the folks with with the giants in them. I got it. The giants and the Amorites, and that's how they turn wicked. You know what I'm saying? That's how they turn wicked, man. If I go to Joshua 13. Let's see what Joshua 13 say. Joshua, shoot. I'm right by Deuteronomy. We go to Deuteronomy 3. And I almost turn right to it. 311. Let's see what it say. 311. For only all king of Bashan remain, remain of the remain of the giants. See, we we already know who the giants is. The, the giants gonna be the Nephilim, and, and all was an Amorite. You know what I'm saying? And then I can show how the Amorites mixed in with the Ammonites and the Moabites and all that. All right, let, let's see another. All right, Joshua 13. Joshua 13. Joshua 13. See, so that's that's gonna make the uh the uh them folks turn wicked. Man, when them folks come come around and them fellin' angelic beings, and then how they got up in the Amorites as the giants, and then I show you how the Amorites got control of our heritage, and then eventually come over here and founded America. And then you see all this wickedness here. You see all this wickedness here, all this wickedness here. All this wickedness here. All right, this 13, 13, 12. Let's see. 13, 12. All right. From the south of, let me see, the, the name of the Canaanites, the Mary, that is beside Sedan of Apec, the borders of the Amorites. That ain't 13. It's going to be 13, 12. 
all the kingdom of Og, Bashan, which rent Ashtaroth, who remained of the, the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the, the, the children of Israel expelled not the Gusherites, nor the Michethites, nor the Gusherites, all all of them, them, them uh, bad folks. All right. Let me see what numbers, what numbers, numbers 1333. Let's see what numbers 1333 say. But I could well establish it. I, you know, I got videos showing how the Amorites and the Jews are the same. And I turn right to this look. And there we saw the giants, the son of Enoch, which come of the giants. And we were as in our own eyes as grasshoppers. You know, them going to be the folks in the land of Canaan when we come in there, you know, and we seen them folks and how they was and stuff. All right. Joshua 17, 15. Let's see what Joshua 17, 15 do. So, you know, we know the giants and the Amorites are one, so that explains all the wickedness that, that they was doing as you can see that our almighty y'all see this you see the wickedness then really then we know cain 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 was wicked because he killed his brother but but this was a whole nother kind of wickedness is when the felon angelic beings come in because then wickedness become a science wickedness become a science and it's manifested in the uh capitalism capitalism look all right and the Elohim said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is flesh. All right. And there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of Yah came into the daughters of men, that they bore children unto them. The same become mighty men, which were of renown, were old and men of renown. Those are the ones we seen when we come into the promised land. They descendants. And they had mixed with them Amorites, which would make them lose the covenant that they had. You know, when Almighty Y'all saved them when they was thrown out in blood. And y'all saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That's just like now. You know, and that's how the felon angelic beings get it. And they descendants try to keep that type of... Uh, uh, struggle going on that they ancestors had they forefathers had in rebellion when against almighty Yah and how almighty Yah keep trying to reestablish his righteousness his covenant and his name back over them and that's why come we Israelites have to wake up we Israelites got to wake up so we can reestablish almighty Yah worship back in the earth see ain't no almighty y'all worship in the earth because it got to come through us israelites can't nobody worship almighty y'all uh uh but got to come through us you know they can holler out his name and pray to him but really worshiping almighty y'all got to come through us and they don't want that and that's why come maybe got the zionists trying to get control of the old lands trying to get control of the old lands where the old covenant was is what the uh, Amorite Sephardis are trying to do. You see what I'm saying? The Jewish state. The Jewish state. You know, uh, Ashkenazi is merged in it too. But how they trying to get control of the uh, uh, of Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? Because that's their old capital where they did the wickedness from. And they want to start that again you know as i explain how you know the am the, the amorites or the uh the the sip hardest from uh, uh super from super and how did you know as i explained in the videos you see we didn't destroy them look jew jibu site amorite yeah, that's cold right there how we just reading about the jibu sites you know what I'm saying? How we just read about the Jebusites and how Jebus is Jerusalem. And, 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 and that's Malchizedek and all of them was Jebusite Amorites. And how that they had a covenant as explained in a book, uh, uh, Prophet Ezekiel uh, uh, 16. Alright Israelites, you know this is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood. You know I hope I 
cleared up the uh, Zion issue. That they, some Israelites be hollering, Zion, Zion, I want to go to Zion. Zion, I want to go to Zion. And, and Zion bound, you know, all kind of tr uh, uh, songs and stuff. You know, that's why come them Edomites, man. Man, promoting them Bob Marley song, Zion, man, man, it make them feel good because they know that that was their old capital and that that was their uh, uh, place of worship before we displaced them with Almighty Yah's Ark, you know, that Solomon would eventually, you know, build a temple, but how the city of David, you know what I'm saying, was Zion, and then he brought the Ark there and how Zion was an old Amorite uh, uh, castle where they worship at. You see what I'm saying? Where they worship Almighty Y'all long time ago, but they had turned wicked because the fallen angelic beings had got mixed in them. And then that's where all that wickedness come from. I could read all the wickedness memes that, that them folks did. And it's outlined in uh, uh, Deuteronomy. In Leviticus, it's outlined, you know what I'm saying, the things that, you know what I'm saying, we Israelites shouldn't do. Look, we shouldn't walk in, look, and the Elohim spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I, I am the Elohim, your yard, and after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do, and after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I bring ye, shall ye not do, neither shall ye walk in their ordinance. So, you know, Jerusalem was in uh, uh, Canaan, and, and we were supposed to destroy the Jebusites and the, the Amorites and all them because they had got mixed up with the felon angelic beings and started that wickedness. It's the same wickedness that's in here that that dominates America right now in the day, and, and especially with that Sodom and Gomorrah and stuff, you know, that type of wickedness is taking over and stuff. And I got a video, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, them, uh, uh, the Canite, how did the Amorite Canite high sins. All right, Israelites, I pray that all the Israelites is doing well, and, and, and much love to all the Israelite Brotherhood members, and, and man, I pray that, man, before long, Man, we get together, man. We, you know, so we know what's needed here in Memphis, and I'm constantly working on it. And, and man, something going to break through, and then we're going to sprout out and do the thing. We're going to sprout out and do the thing. All right, Hebrews, is a message from the Israelite Brotherhood.